This is a human floating alone in the infinite void of space, and there are no strings attached, literally. It's one of the most terrifying and awe-inspiring photos ever taken in space. It shows NASA astronaut Bruce McCandless too during his historic untethered spacewalk in 1984. Well, that may have been one small step for Neil. But it's a heck of a big leap for me. But why is this photo so terrifying? Well, he's floating freely in space, completely untethered. He's not connected to the space shuttle, no safety lines, nothing. It's just him, his spacesuit, and the manned maneuvering unit, or MMU. The MMU was a rocket-propelled backpack that allowed astronauts to move around in space without being attached to anything. Imagine having the entire cosmos around you, knowing that one wrong move could send you drifting into the infinite void. That's the reality McCandless faced in this photo. In the backdrop, you see the curve of the Earth below, a reminder of how high up he is, about 170 miles above our planet. The bright blue of Earth contrasts sharply with the blackness of space, emphasizing the vast emptiness surrounding him. This contrast not only makes for a stunning image, but also highlights the isolation and danger of his situation. Now, think about the psychological impact. Being alone in space with no physical connection to your spacecraft or fellow astronauts can be incredibly daunting. The vast emptiness, the silence, and the knowledge that there's nothing but your suit and the MMU keeping you alive. It's enough to give anyone chills. McCandless described it as a moment of awe and tranquility, but for many of us, it's a terrifying thought. This image was taken during the STS-41-B mission in 1984. McCandless, along with his fellow astronauts, was on a mission to deploy two communication satellites. Three, two, one. On February 3rd of 1984, the Space Shuttle Challenger lifted off from Kennedy Space Center for mission STS-41-B. After reaching orbit, the crew prepared for the spacewalk. Bruce, equipped with the MMU and astronaut Robert L. Stort, would take turns using this new technology. The MMU was essentially a backpack fitted with 24 nitrogen thrusters that allowed for free movement in space, independent of the shuttle, and was operated using hand controllers. On February 7th, McCandless became the first to float untethered in space. It was a groundbreaking achievement, pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible in space exploration. Before this mission, spacewalks were done with safety tethers, connecting astronauts to their spacecraft. The idea of floating freely in space, relying solely on a backpack for movement, was a leap into the unknown. It required immense trust in the technology and a great deal of courage from McCandless. As he exited the airlock and drifted away from the Challenger, it was a moment of both excitement and apprehension. The MMU allowed him to control his movements in space, but there was no safety tether to pull him back if something went wrong. The primary risks associated with the spacewalk included the potential for equipment failure and and the inherent dangers of being untethered in space. If the MMU had malfunctioned, McCandless could have drifted away from the shuttle with no way to return. The spacewalk required precise control, and the MMU had to perform flawlessly to ensure his safety. And then the MMU had limited fuel, meaning McCandless had to carefully manage it to ensure he could return to the shuttle safely. Concerns also included the possibility of a collision with space debris or micrometeorite, which could have had catastrophic consequences. So McCandless slowly maneuvered away from the shuttle, relying on the MMU's thrusters to guide him. Each burst of nitrogen gas propelled him further into the void, giving him a level of freedom never before experienced by an astronaut. The MMU had several controls that allowed McCandless to move forward, backward, and sideways, as well as rotate in any direction. This unprecedented mobility enabled him to perform tasks with greater ease and efficiency, but it also meant he had to be constantly aware of his surroundings and movements to avoid drifting into space. During the spacewalk, McCandless reached a distance of about 320 feet from the shuttle, further than any astronaut had ventured without a tether. This distance, combined with the backdrop of Earth below and the vast expanse of space above, made for one of the most breathtaking and eerie images in space exploration history. But it wasn't just about the distance. The spacewalk demonstrated the capabilities of the MMU and its potential for future missions. It showed that astronauts could move and work in space with a level of autonomy that was previously unimaginable. This had significant implications for satellite repairs, construction of space stations, and other complex tasks in space. Throughout the spacewalk, McCandless communicated with mission control and his fellow astronauts, providing real-time feedback on the MMU's performance. Despite the risks, everything went smoothly 
smoothly. McCandless's successful maneuvers proved the MMU's effectiveness and marked a major milestone in space technology. After spending over five hours in space, McCandless safely returned to the shuttle. His pioneering achievements opened new doors for space exploration and inspired future generations of astronauts. This photo captures not just the moment in space history, but the essence of human exploration and the risks that come with it. It's a reminder of how small and vulnerable we are in the grand scheme of the universe. And that's why, even decades later, this image of Bruce McCandless 2 remains one of the most terrifying and awe-inspiring photos ever taken in space. So who was the man behind the suit? Bruce McCandless II was no ordinary astronaut. Born on June 8, 1937 in Boston, Massachusetts, McCandless had an impressive career even before he made history with his untethered spacewalk. He graduated from the United States Naval Academy in 1958 and went on to earn a master's degree in electrical engineering from Stanford University. His academic background and military training set the stage for his future accomplishments. McCandless began his career as a naval aviator and served aboard the aircraft carrier USS Forestral. His skills and dedication earned him a spot in NASA's fifth group of astronauts in 1966. He worked on several important projects, including the development of Apollo Lunar Module and the Skylab Space Station. But it wasn't until the space shuttle program that McCandless would make his mark. As a mission specialist on STS-41-B, he was part of a team tasked with deploying two communication satellites. This mission, however, would become famous for something far more groundbreaking, the first untethered spacewalk. McCandless had been instrumental in developing the manned maneuvering unit. This revolutionary piece of equipment was a testament to years of hard work, testing, and a bit of daring. For McCandless, piloting the MMU during his spacewalk was the culmination of years of preparation and anticipation. But the question you're probably asking is who took this photo? It was taken by his fellow astronaut, Hoot Gibson, from the crew cabin of the Space Shuttle Challenger using the Hasselblad camera. At the time, he was the only one on the crew without immediate duties, allowing him to focus on documenting McCandless's journey. Gibson meticulously prepared for the shot, taking three light meter readings and checking the focus four times for each photograph. He had learned from his photography training that an off-kilter horizon would look unpleasing, so he adjusted the camera to ensure the horizon was level despite Challenger's 28.5 degree inclination. McCandless appreciated the anonymity provided by his closed helmet visor because he believed that it allowed people to imagine themselves in his place. Today, the legacy of McCandless's spacewalk lives on in the continued exploration of space. The lessons learned and the technologies developed have contributed to the construction and maintenance of the International Space Station, satellite repairs, and the ongoing journey to explore beyond our planet. As always, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more incredible stories from space. Also, make sure to watch the video on the right.